What is going on fellow nerds and guess what? It is the new year and you know what that means? CES. Yes, CES is here folks and we are going to talk about it. And this year I have a special guest with me. I have my partner in crime, Charles. So he's going to get in on that CES talk for us this year. So I'm going to go over what I expect from CES as well as Charles is going to chime in as well. We're going to cover the big boys, Sony, Samsung, and LG. We're going to cover what we expect to see from them at CES. Some of the stuff that they've announced already and maybe some surprises that we hope that they will show. And without further ado, let's get things kicking off with Samsung. First, before I get into that, Sam, Charles, are you excited about CES? I am very excited about CES. Um, I'm always interested in the new tech that um, these companies bring. Like last year, my one of my favorite things was the the, um, the foldable LEDs or yes. the foldable TVs. Yep. Not foldable, but um, the rollable the, ones. The rollable LG. ones yep. that LGs brought in. I thought those were super dope, and I hope to see those again this year. We may get into that discussion a little bit later. All right. All right, well, let's kick things off with Sony, all right? So what do we expect from Sony this year? So there have been some rumors from Sony that they are gonna do a number of 8K devices. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just now really hitting the 4K market. Now Sony is going towards the 8K market and a number of the other manufacturers as well, but the rumors are that they're gonna be showing off an 8K television, um, an 8K crazy. laser projector, uh, and their 8K processing platform. So, and the big one is either a 8K camcorder or an 8K camera. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be pretty big. And my thoughts on an uh, 8K camcorder or camera, that thing has to be expensive, you know? It has to be. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's got to be pretty darn expensive. We already know how expensive red cameras are. They're, right. They cost about as much as a a car. I'm not. <laughs> yes. a, I was gonna say used car, but they're they're about as much. They can get up to as much as a a new car. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, that's gotta be expensive. I can I can imagine. So it's supposed to be part of their e mount system. That's what they use on their cameras. They've been using that since about uh 2010 2011. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to be part of that that system as well. So. So there are like when I first heard about this this AK, first of all, AK TVs and AK cameras are crazy. Mm -hmm. That's we're we're just now getting comfortable with 4K. There's still machines or gaming consoles that right. that barely barely do 4K. Barely do 4K. <laughs> um, so AK cameras are just crazy to me. Not to mention that it seems like they're trying to be first to market with AK cameras. Yep. Um, Panasonic has uh, stated that they won't be releasing any 8K products until 2020. Mm -hmm. So okay. I'm guessing Sony is trying to get to the market a little bit early so they have that little bit of head start, which is, I mean, if they do it right, it's smart. If they have the overheating issues that they did with their um, other 4K cameras, mm -hmm. then, you know, then, it's just going to yeah. backfire. So right. Right. if they do it right, it could be good. Yeah, yeah. So the push for the 8K market right now. So at CES 2017, when I went there, mm -hmm. uh, they, they had some TVs there then. That was uh, two years ago. And two years later, we still don't have any 8K content, especially here in the mm -hmm. States. Um, in Japan, there is a company that is either testing or has already broadcasted in 8K. Um, but it's just one company right now. So there's no 8K content. So sure, it's exciting to see that content the televisions or things coming out, but what are you going to buy and what are you going to use it for yeah, I mean, at this a... point? I mean, you're going to upscale your 4K to 8K, but I, I just don't see it right now. Yeah, movie point, studios but... aren't putting out really mm, nope. any 8K content. Nope. Um, yeah, that's fun. They, they would have to support their own, you know, their own TVs and their own camcorders. And I wouldn't with, be surprised with if Sony they, movies. Or Sony movies, also a Sony 8K player of some sort. Yeah. You know, we haven't heard about it, but I don't know. They're going to have to if they're going to be pushing 8K. So, yeah. we shall see. Alright, moving on. There's also rumored that they may show off their Xperia phone. This is their flagship phone. Oh, but yeah. this may be their 5G phone. So again, Sony is trying to be first to 5G. Mm. So that may be shown off at CES this year. Yeah, there are 
there are a couple of phones that are a couple of manufacturers trying to get their trying phones, get their, yep. their 5G phones to market, even though we don't really have 5G. And 5G is going to be crazy. The rollout for that, it's going to mm-hmm. be crazy. Um, but yeah, that's Sony phones have been not been doing so hot. No, I, so, I don't really pay much attention to them. <laughs> and I, I can't even point to a specific reason why, because they're, I mean, their phones are getting so good that you know we have to nitpick right. on what we don't like about exactly. a specific phone there i i can't i mean of course there are bad phones out there but i can't point to a reason why sony phones aren't selling very Particularly well well yeah. probably the marketing but this phone i think i've seen renders of this phone that you're talking about okay and it looks like it's modern like okay. it doesn't have bezels you know it's a, a modern looking yeah, it's phone. A, it's, yeah it's a modern looking phone so hopefully you know this phone picks up their phone division i mean sales. probably with them being first to 5g may help them in that regard maybe, maybe. um but again we don't even have the 5g networks here so not mm. yet so yeah we'll that's... see but they have to have the device out there before the masses even <coughs> have yeah. access to the technology anyway so but we'll that's see. true and they they're gonna have to kind of future proof that phone if, if they're putting 5g in it and they want it to be first to market with a I guess people buy things just because they know it's future proof, but yep. they would have to future proof the processor in some sort of, or the RAM because the processors you can't really do much about because Qualcomm is going to release their processors yep. when they're ready. Yep. But they'd have to put future proof the RAM at least so that that phone is, you know, good enough to actually run 5G content when 5G when it, is available. Exactly. So, yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, and they're also rumored to show off uh, the X A three phone. It's a five point nine inch screen, um, as well as the five point seven inch Xperia L three. So these are both budget phones. So these are not their flagship phones. Mm. These are supposed to be more budget um, phones, entry level phones. So trying to obviously cover the whole gambit, giving their flagship and then their lower end phones as well. So yeah. you can expect to see that. All right, yeah. and also Sony is also supposed to show off a smart speaker with a screen. Uh, I believe last year LG may have shown something or did something. So Sony is trying to play catch up with uh, LG in that regard. So everybody's on board with the smart speaker. um, With the screen now. Amazon has one. Amazon has one. Um, Google has one. Google has people. I'm assuming it's going to be a Google assistant. I don't know, but more than likely it'll probably have to be a Google assistant. Yeah, I don't know what, you know... um, um, assistant Sony would be using other than, other than Google. Google. Yeah. 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 Yep. All right. And that's everything we expect from Sony. Um, for more, we're going to be jumping over to Samsung. So stay with us right after this. All right, folks, that is our CES preview show. We've covered what we think will happen at CES. Thank you once again for taking the time out to watch this video. I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed to our videos, liked our videos. I want to thank you for that. Um, Look for more from us in 2019. Um, 2019, we plan on stepping our game up and you will see um, some of that coming down the pipeline. You can follow me on Twitter at SNJamoka. You can follow me on Twitter at Charlie Pink SN. Right. And make sure you check out our website at um, SoundsNerdy.com. There are a lot of things on the website as well. We offer a Sounds Nerdy membership where you can compete for get, uh, competing games and win prizes. It's a free membership, uh, friendly competition. You can sign up there at the website just to make sure you check that out. Also, make sure you check out our Facebook. Our membership is tightly integrated with our Facebook group. Um, we post questions there. So that allows you to earn points so you can then compete for the prizes as well. So make sure you check that out um, as well. All right, and until the next video, guys, stay nerdy. Take care.